All right, this is going to be your uh, anterior glide. So we're still looking at the hip. Uh, here I can go through, I'm gonna push across my body. You can do ipsilateral. Personally, I feel like I have to torque my wrist a little bit, so I end up doing more contralateral pushing. Uh, I can go through, identify my greater trochanter again. I'm gonna come just medial and superior to that point, and I'm gonna put a little bit of a soft tissue lock to the luteals. Uh, from there, it's just a pure, anterior yet slightly medial force that you're mobilizing the hip joint with. You can increase the uh, force that you're putting through there by using some lever arms. Um, so the first lever arm would actually be instead of being at that hip joint coming down more towards the gluteal fold, let your leg rest for me. And I'm still doing a little bit of a skin lock and pushing down. Then I can use more extension to create even greater torque through that anterior portion of the joint. Now, this is good, it's good initial, but sometimes you need to get a little bit more, not just anterior joint, but a little bit more inferior and uh, medial joint. So we're gonna slide over. If the patient is too tight, you can put them off the side of a table. I like to block their leg into a comfortable amount of knee flexion. Uh, make sure that you've got some clearance. This um, patient doesn't have a lot of movement, or, or sorry, a lot of restriction in their movement, so you can uh, see that she's able to lay flat against the table. A lot of times they won't have that if they're stiff, so just take it for what it's worth. I identify my hip line, basically going from the uh, crease that's created by the hip flexion, adduction, or uh, sorry, abduction and external rotation. I'm gonna come lateral to that. I can create a skin lock by just again torquing the skin in one direction or another. I can also just come across here, making sure that I'm careful with where these fingers end up. And then my glide is going to be initially straight uh, down and slightly medial, but then I'm gonna work around until I feel the direction that I have the most restriction. And I would mobilize through that. Once you get to the point where you no longer need the uh, stool, slide back to the center, please. You can do the same technique on the table. Uh, again, looking for the direction where you have the most limitation in that movement, and that's where you would mobilize through. Now, if you don't have the ability to put the patient's knee on a stool, and they have a lot of tightness, they might be uh, up a little bit higher, like that, you might have to derotate the spine. And that can be done simply by putting a pillow underneath half that person's body. That way, you normalize the rotation in the spine and are able to go through and do the same mobilization as before.